Hey guys, it's Silver Zero Bricks here, and today we got a new product. We have the retail and hobby box of the 2019 2020 Upper Deck Allure. Let the break begin. Hey guys, it's Silver Zero Breaks here. Just want to say welcome back to my channel. And yes, we are opening a brand new product today. Uh, we got the 2019-2020 Upper Deck Allure. I have the blaster box and the hobby box here. And uh, quite, you know, excited to check this out. Um, I've seen quite a few products online, uh, quite a few pack openings online, and they've been pretty solid. They've been pretty good. Um, I mean, the design of the cards look pretty nice. Not very original. They're kind of like, a, you know, Panini Select ripoff. Um, or you can say it's kind of like a OPG Platinum and Trilogy combined into one. Um, but either way, it's still a pretty nice looking product and it's certainly not disappointing from what I've seen so far. Uh, but before we begin, um, I just want to take a moment to say thank you for tuning into my channel, uh, clicking that like and subscribe button. Um, it does give me that sort of uh, encouragement to keep going with uh, the pack openings here. I mean, I do love um, what's happening with the card collecting community. Everyone's coming together, you know, showing what they got. And um, it's really nice to have that sense of community. And uh, I just want to keep that going. Um, but uh, if you do like what you see, don't forget to click the like and subscribe button. Comment below. Um, I do love to get into some hockey discussions with all of you. So, yeah. But before we begin, um, I did get something in the mail today. Um, this is actually from Cherry Collectibles. So shout out to Cherry Collectibles. They're located based in Melbourne. Um, now, recently they've ran a fire break. So essentially they took a whole case of Panini uh, Prism basketball card uh, retail box um, and they've pretty much donated it all. Um, so what happens is that we all pay uh, whatever we choose in terms of donations to the New South Wales uh, firefighters and they donated the whole box out and did a group break on it and based on a random team assignment the hits get posted out and this is the result of it so huge shout out to Cherry Collectibles thank you for hosting an amazing uh, group break and to put it towards such a good cause especially with the bushfires here in Australia um, and also just to point out they are one of the few collectible stores that do keep NHL cards um, so if you are a hockey card collector in Australia, um, it's a good place to check out. Um, last I checked, uh, they did have a Burdeck Trilogy. So if you are interested in that product, definitely check, uh, check out Cherry. So let's, uh, without further ado, let's just have a look at what's in here. All right. Just haven't opened this. Yeah, so hopefully there's uh, nothing that reveals too much. So you can see the card right there. Oh, here. There we go. So pretty much anything that are hits or rookie cards, they ended up posting out. So ended up with, uh, I got assigned the Detroit Pistons. So not exactly my favorite team, but I did end up with two rookie cards out of the retail box. So that's a... Uh, pretty solid pull from uh, the uh, Prism retail box. So just to give you a better look of the two rookie cards here. So yeah, Detroit Pistons. Not exactly the hottest team right now in the NBA, uh, especially after that Drummond trade. I'm pretty sure they're headed downhill now. Um, but yeah, they're headed towards a rebuild, but it's something that's sort of been, <laughs> they've been trending in the wrong direction for a while. So they're overdue for one, I would say. Anyway, so, all right, before I begin with the break, I just want to give a quick shout out to Gaming Cards and More, um, just because he gave a shout out to me last week. Um, so I'm definitely just returning a favor. Um, he has a pretty good channel. He supports the card, uh, card collecting community, so it's definitely worth checking out. And uh, he also does Pokemon as well. So if you're interested in that, um, you know, check out his videos. Uh, he is mostly per focused on hockey cards, but he also does Pokemon. So if you're interested in both, definitely give him a, um, a like, subscribe, watch his videos. 
Um, it's definitely worth pursuing. And the other shout out I want to give is to Matt T18. Um, he recently hosted a 2018-2019 Upper Deck Ice um, group break. Um, now I'm based in Australia. So it's usually a bit harder for me to participate in trades, group breaks, and things like that, just due to um, either the cost of shipping or um, a lot of um, people just tend to stick within the North American side. Um, so I really appreciate the fact that he actually went over to Canada Post, had a check, uh, to um, check that the postage you know was well within his budget before, um, uh, and, and also just to include me in the group break. Now, I didn't really come up with many hits, uh, but it was still enjoyable and I appreciate the, the extra effort that was taken. So, shout out to Matty18 as well, okay? So, let us begin. So, I'll start off with the retail blaster box before moving on into the hobby box. Just to, I think most of the breaks online have been based on the hobby boxes, so at least this one will give you a better look as to what's in here. Now, just like any sort of retail product, don't really expect any major hits in there um, but there is the exclusive yellow taxi parallel in here so that's something to look out for um, now there are uh, six cards per pack and five uh, packs per box in here so that's something to check out but that gives you a preview of what the yellow taxi parallels look like all right so let us begin Five packs, and I'll just sit that right there. Okay, so this can be sort of a comparison between the blaster and the hobby box, if you like. But I would probably lean towards lean towards the hobby box. That seems to be a much better value in terms of uh, what you pull. But I wanted to check this out anyway, just to see what's in here. Now, if only the packs were a bit easier to open, that'll be great. But uh, that seems to be the case with a lot of the newer products lately really seal it shut. All right, so we start off with a rookie card of Rem Pitlick. That's the base card. Um, and also here's Braden Point. And uh, to get a better look at the base card, this is what it looks like on the back. A little bit plain. Um, it's, I think more focus is really on the front part. So it's a very shiny looking card. It has a little bit of sort of a, you know, gold coloring to it in the foil, so it's actually quite nice. It's like a little hybrid of OPG and Trilogy, so yeah. Now we got uh, Henrik Lundqvist, and we got the white rainbow of Joe Pavelski. So this is one of the die cuts in the series, and that's the right white rainbow. So Joe Pavelski. Uh, we got Sid the Kid and Brady Kachuk. So these are actually pretty nice looking cards. I'm Definitely not complaining, I quite like it. And um, I did purchase two hobby boxes and two retail boxes. So we're starting off on one of each and then I'll post part two sometime later. Um, probably not too far, not in the far, probably in the near future, let's just say. Uh, oh, geez, this one's a little bit harder to open. I should have brought a pair of scissors or something. I think we all had the same problem with the uh, trilogy, so I think that trend carries is seems to be carrying on. Uh, we got Alex Ovechkin, Jakub Rana. We got a rookie card of Kale McCarr. Now this is just the base set of the rookie, and we got a yellow taxi parallel of Ryan Paling of the Montreal Canadiens. Very nice. I like how shiny they are. They they do definitely remind me of OPG Platinum, which is another one of my favorite series. I got Leon Dreisaitl and Joel Farabee. Pack number three. So the retail boxes should be relatively quick to go through, uh, assuming I'm able to open these packs. Usually I look for that soft spot and, you know, just open it up, but doesn't seem to be happening here today. You can feel free to skip forward if uh, you can't be bothered watching me struggle with these packs. All right, we got uh, Matthew Barzel, Mark Shifley, and an iced out insert of Cody Glass. Also very shiny. 
quite like that card. Oh, I got another yellow taxi parallel. Look at that. Another rookie yellow taxi parallel of Carl Grundstrom of the LA Kings. Followed by the base rookie of Carl Grundstrom, which is the exact same photo. And we got Nathan McKinnon. Fourth pack. Well, I really hope that the hobby box will be a bit easier to open. I don't think people struggle this much. In terms of opening these packs, but uh, seems to be the case for me. All right, lots of rookies in the set. Okay, we got Connor Hellebuck, Brad Marchand, and that Allure Top 50 of Nicholas Hogg. Allure Top 50. Uh, got a Ryan O'Reilly. I believe this is the red rainbow parallel. Uh, Rudolph Balsers. And a uh, Quinn Hughes rookie. Nice. Last pack of the retail box. Uh, there we go. So the chances of hitting an auto in this is pretty slim to none. <laughs> uh, you got Mitch Marner, uh, Artemi Panarin, Oliver Ekman Larson, and nice, and a yellow taxi parallel of Jack Hughes. So this would be a retail box exclusive. So it's very nice to pull a Jack Hughes. Um, still looking for young guns, but at least I got the yellow taxi parallel from the Allure set. Pretty nice. Uh, we got John Carlson and Brock Besser. So that pretty much finishes off the, um, the retail box of Allure. And now it's time to move on into the uh, hobby box. Breaking out the trusty knife once again. Now the uh, hobby box is quite similar to uh, the Panini Revolution box. You get the sort of uh, the cubic looking box. It's a nice, you know, departure from your standard upper deck fare. Um, but yeah, you can definitely see the inspiration from Panini with this product here. Um, still a nice looking box. You do get like a pretty nice design. You know, you got artwork all over, so lots of focus on Jack Hughes, so pretty cool. You do have eight, uh, six cards per pack and eight cards per box in here. Um, so let's have a look at what's in here. Oh, it seems like I didn't quite get the, uh, the tape on the side here, so hopefully, there we go. Almost had it all. All right. So you got the packs here. Let's check out pack number one. Now there is one autograph per box plus one memorabilia. So at least you're guaranteed two hits in here. But I have seen some people end up with at least a second patch. So looks like I do have a thick card here. So that might be the patch. Um, starting off with Brad Marchand. We got a top 50 of Philippe Zadina of the Detroit Red Wings. Top 50. Uh, and we got a patch of Quinn Hughes. Very nice. Must be <laughs> getting a lot of Quinn Hughes today. Hopefully. Who knows? Maybe I'll get the auto. Fingers crossed. Uh, so this is a memorabilia card. It has been worn by the feature player, but not game used. So it's probably worn during like a promo session or something, but at least there's the patch there. Very nice. We've got John Carlson, Brock Besser again, to finish off the first pack. Pack number two. So let me know what you think about the Allure pack. Uh, oh, so much easier to open than, uh, than the retail box. Yeah, let me know what you think of the Allure product. Um, so far, I've been pretty pleased with what I've seen, but uh, definitely let me know what you think of it. Um, whether you're happy to see it return next year or not, I personally think it's great. 
um, only because of recency bias perhaps, but Synergy was such a big letdown that this looks really awesome. Anyway, start off with Mitch Marner. We got Artemi Pernarin. Oliver Ekman Larson. We got a uh, short print of the rookie card of Nico Sturm. So the short print is the ones that when well, you notice that there's no pattern on the side, it's just all plain um, and quite shiny. So yeah, that would be Nico Sturm. And we got the orange slice of Phil the Thrill Kessel. And this one's numbered to 199. So that's the orange slice parallel of Phil the Thrill. And we got Andre Vasilevsky. So pack number three. It seems like the hobby packs are much easier to open compared to the retail. I think I'll stick with buying more of the hobby instead. We got a rookie uh, base card of uh, Alexander Texier. We got a top 50 of Blake Lazat. Seems to be a lot of him going around in this set. I've noticed a lot of people have been getting cards uh, of Blake Lazat here. So uh, we got Tomas Hurdle in the white rainbow. Uh, Zach McEwen, who I think got into a fight recently. Um, Sebastian Ajo and another Thomas Hurdle. Same picture as the parallel card. Might have spoken a bit too soon. This pack's not as easy, so I think it's not entirely cons consistent at this stage. Always thought I had it. Alright. We got PK Subban. We got Johnny Hockey. Having a bit of a down year at the moment. And we got the open ice insert of Miro Hiskinen of the Dallas Stars. I still find this card to be very weird just because there's an actual hole in here. So you can see my fingers poking through it. Uh, really bizarre looking card. Um, I don't mind it, but yeah, it's just weird. And you know, there's no acetate, nothing. It's just a giant gaping hole. So it's a bit bizarre. It's weird. And we got our auto. It's the red rainbow of Alex Barkov. Pretty good player. Uh, I noticed that a lot of the uh, autographs in this set are um, the sticker autos. So a lot of people are slightly disappointed by that, but uh, yeah. So we got Blake Lazard again and Eric Carlson. So we got our two hits. Small chance that there might be a um, jersey, another jersey, hopefully, but we'll see. The really hard ones to pull is the Allure Quartz autograph, and I've seen a few of those online already. Um, all right, we got Nico Hish here. We got Barrett Hayton. We got a top 50 of Joel L'Esperance. We got a white rainbow parallel of Victor Olofsson. Very nice rookie there. Uh, we got Serbia Bobrovsky and Cody Glass. All right, three more packs to go. Here's a little, I'm a little bit disappointed when all the hits get spoiled so early on, but uh, couldn't really tell that the auto was in there uh, in the pack that was a bit earlier. So, But there's a strong focus on rookies in here, so there's a lot to look for. We got Anthony Mantha. We got Matt Duchesne. And an iced out insert of Nathan McKinnon. We got Drew Doughty in the red rainbow parallel. Uh, Carey Price and Taro Hirose. Second to last. There we go. Just need a bit more force in this. We got uh, Jack Eichel, base, Eric Brandstrom, rookie card. Top 50 of Elvis Merzlikens, who's playing absolutely lights out for the Blue Jackets right now. Uh, ooh, look at that. Nico Sturm, 
Purple parallel? Purple diamond. Numbered four out of 10. Nice. Purple diamond of Nico Sturm. I think these are quite hard to pull as well, so that's very nice. Jordan Biddington and Alex Tuck. The last pack in this. All right, let's see what's in here. We got Nathan Bastian, Kirby Doc, Kale Flurry. Lots of rookies there. And a winter storm warning of Patrick Line. Very, I don't know, mixed feelings about this card. I don't mind the look of it. It's nice that they put the location of where they play right in that spot there. But it's a bizarre insert, let's just say. We got the white rainbow of Seth Jones. And Steven Stamkos is the last card. Well, that concludes the break for Upper Deck Allure 2019-2020. We got the Retail Blaster and the Hobby Box. Um, just to give a quick recap of what was pulled. In the Retail, we got the Iced Out insert of Cody Glass. We got the Top 50 of Nick Hogg. We got the White Rainbow of Joel Pavelski. And also the Yellow Taxi Parallel of Ryan Paling. Uh, yellow Taxi Parallel of Jack Hughes. We got the Yellow Taxi of Carl Grundstrom. And the Red Rainbow of Brian O'Reilly. And just as a comparison point from the Hobby Box, we did get the Open Ice insert of Miro Hiskinen. I put a sleeve on it so that there's no gaping hole in there anymore. Uh, we got the Iced Out insert of Nathan McKinnon. We got the Winter Storm Warning of Patrick Line. White Rainbow of Seth Jones. White Rainbow Rookie of Victor Olofsson. White Rainbow of Thomas Hurdle. Orange Slice of Phil Kessel, number to 199. We got a Drew Daddy Red Rainbow. And a Red Rainbow Auto of Alex Barkov. Uh, we got Nico Sturm in the Short Print Rookie. And also Nico Sturm in the Purple Diamond, number 4 out of 10. And we also have the patch card of Quinn Hughes, which is pretty nice. It'll go along very well with the young guns I have. And then we got a few top 50s here from Elvis Merzlikens, Joel Esperance, Blake Lazat, and Philip Zadina. So that pretty much is the hits. Let me know which one was better. I'm pretty sure the hobby box ended up with a few more pulls, I would say. Um, but yeah, I still think the blaster is worth getting, um, just to try out every now and then. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think. Um, you can also check out some of my previous videos just up in the corners up here. And also, don't forget to subscribe. You can follow me on Instagram at SilverZeroBreaks. Got some uh, photos, previews, things like that for you to check out there too. So until then, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!